Greetings everyone, welcome to the channel. We are the Lion Gaming Crew and in this season 28 video for Diablo 3, we're going to be showing you guys how you guys can complete the Altar of Rights using any of our free seasonal save file variants. Now we are completing this on the 20k stat modded variant, but the method is going to be exactly identical no matter which variant you choose to play on. So big special shout out to each and every single member of the YouTube community and each and every single member of the discord community without your guys' support none of this would be possible so without any further ado let's go ahead and jump right on into this video so you do want to complete the altar of rights on rubius hagrid and cosmic for both offer all the variants and for both softcore and hardcore it's got to be on the barbarian because that's what the tome of set dungeons are for and that's what the extra augmented weapon for the offering is for but you i mean yeah so without any further ado let's just go ahead and show you guys how to do it so you're going to jump in with either Rubius or Hagrid or Cosmic, whichever one you choose to do first. I do want to note, since we're talking about uh, completing the Altar of Rights, um, if you complete it on the Barbarian on Softcore Seasonal, then it's going to be completed on the rest of your Seasonal characters for Softcore Seasonal. If you complete it on Cosmic for Hardcore Seasonal, it'll be um, completed for all the rest of your Hardcore Seasonal characters. So you only have to do this once, and all of it is going to be transferred over to all of your other Seasonal characters. That's why we built it for the Barbarian, since it is that first character on the list of tunes for the seasonal save, I just figured it'd just be the easiest. And since that's what the Tomes of Set Dungeons are for and stuff like that, it just made it easier on everyone. So as you're seeing here, we're pulling stuff out of the stash. These are all of the items that you're gonna need to pull out of the stash to just run over to complete the uh, Altar of Rites within about two minutes. This isn't gonna be a very long video because it doesn't take very long to complete, but we will complete it on Softcore Seasonal and then we'll complete it on Hardcore Seasonal just to show you that the process is the same and that it can be completed in not a very long time at all. So yeah, you notice we just pulled a couple of items that are out of the stash and now we're just going to furious charge our way up to the Altar of Rites and we're gonna start making some sacrifices. So any class at helm, you're gonna wanna use the dystopian goggles. That's what that is there for. And then uh, the materials, they're all on the safe, so you don't have to worry about that. The Reaper wraps, that's what you that's what that is there for. And you're just going to continue working your way down. No matter which one you choose, uh, which uh, seal you choose to break, it's going to be the same cost. So as we'll see here, it's 30 of all of the bounty materials and one flawless royal emerald. And that would have been the same if we would have chose to say, let's break this seal right here. And, you know, it's going to cost the same. So this one costs Greater Rift, Keystone's 20, and one Romaldi's Gift. Then we got some Blood Shards. Petrified Screams have been patched. Challenge Rift Cash is good to go. Now we're just working our way down. we got the Ancient Hellfire Amulet right here. That is going to be sacrificed. we got the Tome of Set Dungeons. That's why this has to be completed on the Barbarian, because that's what the... All of the tomes of set dungeons are four. We got the ancient puzzle ring. You will still have 19 puzzle rings left. There's 20 in total on the save. We got the whispers of atonement rank 150. It says 125, but it'll work for anything above rank 125. For the ancient ancient uh, or the augmented weapon, you're going to want to use one of the echoing fury. You'll notice there's going to be two of them. They're exactly identical, so you don't have to worry about losing it. You're still going to have that extra copy. Staff of Hurting, make sure you use the normal one, not the primal infernal staff or not the primal normal one, just the normal staff of hurting. And then as you get down here, you have uh, max primordial ashes. So you're gonna be able to complete that no problems. There we go, we just completed the altar of rights on softcore seasonal. Now we're gonna jump over into hardcore seasonal and we're going to complete the same process. Again, pulling those items out of the stash and running over to the altar of rights to complete all of the sacrifices so i'm just equipping the dauntless rings belt and uh stuff like that just so we can get a little bit quicker um you know using furious charge to get over there so first thing you want to do is just walk over to your stash pull the dystopian goggles then the hellfire amulet and working your way down you want to do the reaper's wraps one puzzle ring and it'll be the first ring of royal grandeur not this one right here it'll be the first ancient ring of royal grandeur sorry then you're going to want to go into your stash little bags right here pull out that challenge rift cache and then go down to the little items and you're going to want to pull out the tomes of said dungeon 12 14 18 and 22 and then you're going to want to go into your legendary gems pull out the whispers of atonement rank 150 then work your way over to the weapons scroll a little bit down 
until you see, I'll kind of sh pause here so you can see which one of these Staff of Hurtings you want to pull. It's not going to be that Infernal one, and it's not going to be this Primal, it's just going to be the normal Staff of Hurting down here with 3.5 damage. After you've grabbed all those items, you can go ahead and Furious Charge your way over to the Altar of Rights and start breaking these seals. So we're just going to do the same process as we did before, making sure we use all of the same items so we don't lose any of our awesome modded items and we're just going to continue breaking these seals so yeah i do you think the problem we were having before was the ring of royal grandeur it was set it didn't have any affixes on that item and i'm pretty sure that was the reason why the game wasn't considering it um as an item i don't really know but we got it patched i made a bunch of them there's like six in total on the save so um, i'll probably go in and delete the extras just so we have a little bit more stash space so yeah, don't mind that the fact that there's like five extra Ring of Royal Grandeurs. I kind of went hard trying to figure out the uh, the issue there. But uh, it is rectified and it's working on all saves. So we're going to go up in here and we're going to complete the Altar of Rights. And now what we're going to do is we're going to back out and we're going to join in with a different character. So we're going to pop in with Mad Mardigan, which is a Crusader. And we're going to run over to the Altar of Rights just to show that it is completed on this character as well and we do have all of the different bonuses and stuff like that so just showing that it doesn't matter which character you choose to play on or, or uh, as long as you complete it on the barbarian you're going to be good to go so now we're going to go over here to the altar of rights softcore seasonal and it is completed now we're going to jump back in on hardcore seasonal with the um genie weasley which is the crusader and we're just going to show that it is completed for all of your tunes on this save. So you only have to do it one time. And uh, once you complete it that one time, you're going to be good to go. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, definitely let me know by dropping a like. That would be greatly appreciated. I know a lot of this is basic knowledge. And I probably didn't have to make this video. But since um, we've been having some issues with items not working as intended, like the Ring of Royal Grandeur and stuff like that, I just felt like I pushed this out there to show that now it is possible with all of our free seasonal save files. So yeah, have fun, go slay some demons, and let me know your thoughts and feedback down in that comment section down below. Thank you all for watching. If you made it all the way till the end, you're an absolute legend. I really, really appreciate your support, and I really hope to catch you all in a future video coming out soon. Stay safe, stay happy, and last but not least, stay gaming. Lion Gaming Crew, signing out.